Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 1722, Tuesday, February the 27th, and we are back in Faction Trials today. Let's navigate there. While we are, quick, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Stage 12, Power of Dominance is turned off. Clear the stage with the Soul Core intact and with all heroes alive. Pretty simple, straight and to the point. Don't let anyone through. Don't let anyone die. Before we get to the challenge run, uh, if you don't know if this is your first time watching one of my Faction Trials videos, I have step-by-step -step breakdowns, walkthroughs of every single endgame Faction Trial, stage 10 through 12, every faction, different champ combinations, how the stages work, um, where to place different types of champs. It's all organized in an easy-to-use playlist on my channel, so go check out anything that you're struggling with, and then if you're still struggling afterwards, hit me up, leave me a comment, join the Discord server, link will be in the description of every one of my videos, post a comment there, shoot me a direct message, literally any way you want to get a hold of me, do it, hit me up, I will help you. So, let's get to the run now that that is out of the way. The reason we're doing a challenge on Piercers 12 is because the thing that I get asked most often... Um, pertains to this challenge, right? The thing that most people struggle with on Piercers 12 is tanking both lanes. There's two lanes in the stage that usually most people have Livian on one, and then on the other one, you really kind of need Absent or Aracha to tank the other lane. And they're both fighters, you just need to build them tanky. Aracha is a legendary lord, very few people have her. Absent is also a legendary, so even if you have a healthy legendary roster, you might not have him just because, you know, RNG be like that sometimes. So I get asked fairly often, hey, can you beat Piercers 12? Is it even possible to beat it if you only have Livian, if you only have one tank? And the answer is yes. It is It is a little bit more gear intensive. You have to be a little bit more strategic with where you place your champs, but it can absolutely be done. And to show definitively that it can be done, I'm going to beat Piercers 12, no power of dominance, no ground units whatsoever, no Absin, no Aracha, no Livian, Obviously, you wouldn't have this this uh, type of legendary roster without ever pulling Livian. We're doing it for the challenge, and hey, it's never been done before, so it's another world's first, which is always fun, right? So, high five on that. Let's get to the run. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the speed down uh, to normal so that I can explain what's happening and why it's happening, and I don't miss anything. Ajax goes on the board first. This is optimal placement for Ajax, whether you're doing a challenge or not, because he can cover both lanes. Right now we're waiting for Cost to get up for Alora. Alora is going to support Ajax. And now we're waiting for 12 more Cost for Silas. There's nothing we can really do right now. We're waiting for everything to build up, but it's important that we place Silas at this point um, for cycling and timing of ults. After we play Silas, we need to ult with Ajax once his ult is ready to take out these first three monsters. And then after Silas, the next unit that we have to place, we have to place a healer on him. So whether it's Lily or Nisande, it doesn't matter. But since I have Lunaria on the team and I have an extended range, Silas can reach the boss and the boss can reach Silas. So I need to have a healer on him. Ult with Silas after that web comes off. And now I'm going to pick it up just a little bit because I need to wait for Nyx. There we go. Nyx goes top left. She's going to do a little bit of DPS. And uh, she's there for the suicide bugs when they come out. There's a little bit of RNG here. I need... Uh, I really need... Ajax's uh, lightning to proc here. We'll see if it if it works out in my favor. There we go. There was a lightning proc. Fantastic. We should be good. We should be good. We place Hex down bottom. He's uh, gonna take care of the big tank since Silas used his ult on the boss. Yeah. We really need that lightning to proc on that second round. I was supposed to ult with Hex way before that, uh, but I was talking and not paying attention. Oh, there we go. It worked out anyways. And uh, I was also supposed to place Pelagios, 
uh, up here when I had the cost also. Man, you miss stuff when you're talking. So I need Pelagios up top because he's a magic damage dealer uh, to take care of these big tanks up here. Normally I use Hex for that job, uh, but since I have Hex supporting Silas, I'm gonna use Pelagios up here. I'm holding off on Nix's ult for the suicide bugs. Use uh, Pelagios ult on the tanks. And I'm waiting on Silas's ult for uh, the next wave of tanks that come out here. Because if I use Silas's ult there, even if your Silas is strong enough to kill the boss there, the tanks will come out and then you won't be able to uh, stop them with either Silas or Hex because you used both of them before. I really need to be able to use uh, Silas and Ajax's ult here, but I can't use Silas until that web wears off. There we go, there we go. Whew, that's close. That is close. Got it done though. Pelagio still taking out the top lane up here. Hex still, uh, now that he's regening his ult for after Silas finishes his. There we go. Don't quite have the boss. That was close. So in order to do this without, without tanks, you have to have magic damage up top. You have to have big damage on the boss. I don't, I'm, you might be able to do it with poisons, but I don't think so. I think the only way you can do it uh, is, is with a, a strong Silas without having any tanks at all, right? If you only have one, you can swap Livian between the two when you need to. There we go. I got that one hit off with Silas before the boss. Uh, let's get you out of there. Let's get you down. Let's ult with Alora, And then I'm going to need to ult with Hex to take care of these two. I don't need Lily anymore. We're ulting with everyone, basically. I'm gonna wait to ult with Ajax until the big tanks come into frame, just in case I need his extra damage, but Hex is taking care of him. There we go, got it done. Piercer's 12, no power of dominance, no ground units whatsoever. World's first, I love it. Uh, it if, if you're interested, I'll go do the gear right now. If you're not interested, thank you so much for your time. Support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends if you want to, of course. I'd appreciate it. Um, let's check out the gear. Let's check out the gear if you're interested. So Silas, A5, we have Infernal Roar, 12-4 attack, crit cap, 300 attack speed, 360 crit damage with a maxed out spirit siphon. Ajax has his exclusive extra attack and extra effect duration. That makes a big difference. Uh, his skills are maxed. Silas's skills are maxed. Not everyone's are, though. He has Wisdom with, let's see here, 18.5 attack, crit capped with 2.3.5 crit damage. Hex, Soulbound Arcana, 12.1 attack, crit capped, 4.18 attack speed, 3.48 crit damage with uh, not quite a max spirit siphon, but enough for the damage. So we're at 25 right now. Nyx has Reaper's Emblem, extra damage after killing something. Skills are not maxed. Oh, hexes were maxed. Also A5, hex is A0 though, so at least there's that. Uh, Infernal Roar, 17-1 attack, crit capped, 4-6-3 attack speed, 2-6-2 crit damage. Allura, also Infernal Roar, 12-7 attack, crit capped, 3-8-6 attack speed, 3-7-3 crit damage. Skills are not maxed. We have uh, a level 1 Blundbod Signet. Just a little bit extra crit damage there. 
Level 1 sharpshooter, a little bit extra AoE damage. He is A5, though. Skills are not maxed. That would be a lot more damage. We do have Ageless Wrath with 12.8 attack, crit capped, 300 attack speed, 343 crit damage. Palazios, also Ageless Wrath, 14.9 attack, crit capped, th not crit capped, actually. He's at 93. 300 attack speed, 321 crit damage. Skills not maxed and uh, just a sharpshooter crest on him. Uh, Kai, I threw him down there at the end just in case. Skills are not maxed. Level 1, uh, random, not broken set, 13-8 attack, 417 attack speed, just under crit cap, 282 crit damage. And then I used... Uh, uh, Lunaria was on the team, but I didn't use her, and then Lily's stats don't... She, she didn't even have a full set on her. What could have made that a lot easier if this was a finished set? I thought it was. Um, shows how much I was paying attention, though, because she's supposed to have a full <laughs> um, invigoration set to give Silas an extra 10% attack, but uh, I don't know. I swapped the piece at some point and then never found it. So that was the run. That was all the gear. Uh, thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Join the Discord server. It's a ton of fun. We got almost 200 folks there now. We're growing. So come be a part of the community. I will see you in the next one.